and play. Yeah, definitely good ways of bypassing a lot of that scythe for utility, but Bustio. Okay, kicking things off with a buzz. That kind of play that can sometimes drop towards 30 frags as well. Yeah, he's definitely got that ceiling. And if he hits his mark, he definitely can be that carry factor as Fa defending the wall, doing great work, taking down lead. A little bit awkward on that reload. Zeppa will punish, but Raka is there to respond. We are going to see Mitch trade out to allow a spike plant. Cloud by Blue down a man. They're going to try to wall off screens, but Mitch actually sets in front of it to try to do something a little bit gimmicky, but gets caught. So now it's all on Zeppa. He is not long for this world. Blue still completes the hat trick. There's a defuse, and he games easy. So really know what to expect there. So we are going to see C9 trying to go ahead and force up a purchase here. And they are making it happen, Vince. They're double entering. They're looking to tie this thing up one apiece. This is going to play hell with EG's economy as well if they can get it done. Meanwhile, though, Roka straight through me. Deals the fatal damage. Granted also shows his hand, but Mitch is there to snatch it away and break it off. So that player advantage maintains as the spike has now been planted by Vanity. Yeah, this is going to be a tough retake here for EG. Two members trying to come in here. Spectre will get picked up by Temperature. And Roka gets one, Vince. There's a hope now. One enemy remaining. The way back Whoa. in, they just got a whole lot better as the smoke shot comes in through the nebula onto Vanity, leaving Zephyr to 1v2. They went for the force, and they're going to stick the landing. Try to, you know, keep that rotation from happening. Now they're going to look to strike here, but there is, you know, some utility they have to worry about. And Roka is playing a good spot that sometimes goes unchecked this. Oh, and it's gone unchecked here. And it's at the cost of three lives. He wouldn't have got all of them, but he weak. His soup is not very common in the UK. It's left. not. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly. Oh, that gravity well is pretty good, though. But they still get the frags from it. Leaf gets in with two. And three against three with 20 seconds to play with. The spike is starting to reverse back to the side. And will be planted down by Zeta. But because of the amount of time it's taken them to get this locked, it has afforded a quick rotation for EG. And Neural Theft gives them the positions that they're looking for. Information attained. Zeta nullifies for up close and personal with that Phantom before mid springs from above. And Branted never stood a chance. Sandwiched between two players. It's just ground instead. But only good for one. Cloud Eye trading very efficiently here, Vince. And there's a res as well. Yeah, suddenly goes into a 5v3 in their favor. Those paint shells were really good as well. It actually tagged Bustio, so alerted them to his presence. Roka at the back of the site, though, dismissing into a different position, but should still be shut down. There's way too many bodies and bullets being fired in his direction. And the remaining two of EG up in the heavens have been brought down to one. Fuck with the operator. Trying to get locked in, anticipating, and, well, more hoping, I would say. Not one of them pushes his location. No reason to do so with so much time left on the spike that wasn't far off. Trading to the assault rifle gives him that mobility. The spray potential is now in effect, but Mitch on the flank. will sickled off of it. And now you're starting to see the gather here from Cloud9 Blue in B main. Now there won't be the showstopper with it, but they can definitely dash Jet in the back with the barrier orb to the right-hand side to block him so he can get into back site and get to that pillar area right there in front of him. You know, they're going to do the showstopper to threaten B Heaven. And he's going to catch oh, both of them in the corner. That's huge. Oh, it's so brutal. At least Branted, though, can return fire with one. There's a second. Can't quite pivot in and transfer for more. But the damage inflicted as EG are hemorrhaging and they are desperate for Roka to have impact. On the Rainer from above, looking for that pixel to execute on the cross. If it can land a headshot, maybe there's an inroad back in, but gets peeked out. They now know exactly where he is. Nebula has been put into position. Here comes the Leah. Will he be pushing behind this? Not just yet. He's waiting and hoping that one of his players peeks him, tries to divide and conquer the two of them. Hopefully. He's on the basket of middle, gets control, sets up the showstopper through heaven, but then puts all the rest of their forces through main. That was beautiful. Definitely a little bit... Uh more crafty way of using the showstopper, I would say. Oh, okay then. Head yeah, removed. <laughs> right. So you'd still fancy Cloud9 Blue to get this one done. Oh, that gravity well is so brutal. Couldn't move, was stuck in quicksand. And 
finished off accordingly. Roka, though, with a dismiss, can relocate. More players coming his way. Oh, that shot on Zeta is sublime. And it still gives his team a chance. And Albusio with the Sheriff is going to try and put this one to bed. 23 seconds left for Mitch to get across to the site. And Scamper there does have the Phantom. He'll make sure that he won't run dry as he replenishes the magazine. Spike down. Cloudburst affords him a bit of safe passage on his right-hand side, but that's now dissipated. And it's down to whether Bustio or Branted can connect a quick-fire headshot. You favor Mitch in these kind of positions. He's already had a couple of massive rounds in the early doors of this best of three. And as he looks to try and vacate the premises, he gets beat by both players, and there's Branted. End of the half. Look at this from Roka, by the way, just pushing all the way through Ramen. He's gonna get in behind middle, and they've never done this before, so they will not expect it on the cloud nine side of things. It's only good for one, though. And Mitch will be able to get the res onto Zeta, so they will have the five on four. Now, res is available for EG, but where Roka died at, there's no way they're getting an offense. That's the problem. Yeah. That's the ironic twist of fate, isn't it? He pulls off a nice play, but they actually end up getting punished because of it. So yeah. it's kind of brutal for EG. Meanwhile, Lee taking control of B Heaven here, but they're not committed to just this. They're also threatening B Heaven through the vents area. They did lose a player though in the process, so back to even. Daggers get popped here. Leaf was able to get this alt available. They're trying to dash into the A side. That wire has been destroyed alongside Temperature's head. Cypher on Cypher action. Oh, temperature. Sees Leaf dart past him into his demise. Though those are blade store up from Bustio. Can't connect. And Mitch is going to try and make the most. He may have lost the last clutch, but this time he's trying to go one better. Brant. Now you're absolutely right, Vince. We are going to see them putting that pressure on the site here, and then they will take temperature out. They'll cover the plant with several smokes all across a side. Forcing EG and now into a tough retake. 3v2, they do have a res. They might be able to get off if they can get a kill over here towards France and get towards that body. They do get that frag that they need. Now they can maybe get the res, especially if they can get Vanity down. Vanity trying to prevent that from happening. They can get some support. Granted, overextends, gets punished in the worst possible way. Two on four, re res is coming up. They'll know where Roka was killed. They'll know where all of these three players are now. And they're bottlenecked in. They have to just express themselves by pushing straight into the firing squad. Try and absorb as many bullets as possible. And all Leaf sprays a little bit of riots, enough to get one. He gets three in the round. And it falls upon that man, Bustio. The mammoth from the last map. And he's just being toyed with. He's being played with. In this half, again, ED still does have all the advantage. They try to get aggressive, but that slow orb. Uh-oh. Stuck in the ground really well, though. He's so desperate wants to get out of there. Let it's me at him. It's okay, though. <laughs> but he still puts it down range and takes <laughs> down Roker anyway. Oh, boy. That has to be one that you just shake your head at if you're Roker. Maybe you even thought that rocket was already off the table. Oh, that must have been getting down there on the fuse timer. That must have yeah, been another seconds away. And now Leaf with one, but he gets traded out. However, it puts temperature into a one on four. He's already bad one. Very near. Okay. Oh, these headshots are on point, though. Zephyr removes Branted so quickly in Bustio. And he's going to fall the same way, prey to these classics. Back and forth engages now, but it still favors Cloud9 Blue. Oh, oh, Both players oh, awkwardly oh, run out of ammunition, oh. but foes faster. He has to reload. In time, but it's still burnt superficial layers of the oh. epidermis. Meanwhile, though, Leaf gets caught. That's opt-down. That, that hurts. The uppercut missed. Ended up punching himself in the face. That's a feels bad. Oh. It's never happened in like boxing or MMA or Oh, it has, 100%. Okay. Yeah, there's some clips out there. Oh. I've seen a double KO before. Both people get knocked out at the same time, but I have not seen the self knockout. But that's what Cloud9 have done, essentially. Yeah, but I mean, with it only being the one player that had invested quite a bit of money, they're fine in the next round regardless here. <laughs> may mean that a couple trimmings maybe aren't available to them as readily, but. I don't Big think said. Roka understands that op too big to hide there. <laughs> it's huge, buddy. I think we're going to see it get picked up as well. Here's Zeta running into Ramen right now as we speak. I mean, hmm, I wonder where the op is. Tough one, really. Bruh. About the... Concerned about it. That's a good reason. That's why. Oh, no. 
Mitch death from above and can live to tell the tale and heal himself back up. A great passage of play for the defense. 20 seconds now for EG to counteract. Now can they feasibly get on the site? The kill on Zeta is going to give them a huge opportunity to do just that. And they still need to deal with the threat of Zeta. He's stuck at the back of the site, behind the cage. One for one trade, maybe good enough. Won't stop the spike plant though. That much is guaranteed. That much is going to get locked in. But now they know that Branton has to be in close proximity to the spike. There's a resurrection coming in for good. Pretty good defense in place over here on that B side. The player under Raptors. Vanity is still poking and prodding from the elbow bend. Even if he gets smoked off again, there is a Sage waiting right here below them. Oh, they clear it though. Nicely done. That's all on Zeta. Down. Nice trade out, resurrection through, but they haven't checked their angles. Oh no! He misses though. He misses the shot down in the back. That was their ace up the sleeve, and instead it ended up being a joker. And as it stands, it's a one on four. Leaf in oh. heaven. He thought them to start setting up for this free take before the plant ever actually gets in the way. Cosmic Divide also now taken out. Roka trying to punish Zeta, but can't do it. And Cloud are starting to battle back. They have to throw that available if they need to use it. There it is. Confirm the other two are main. The player standing tall, temperature and branded, trying so desperately to get this one done, but Zappa comes in with a brisk quick fire 4k. And so Cloud9 successfully regained the site at the cost of a lot of utility. Uh oh, that Boombot failed. Oh, the fact that Bustio actually gets traded from Zappa there is pretty huge. He had the blade storm out and everything, and it looked as though he put himself in a really awkward position, Zappa. Yeah, that, that boom bot did not go where he wanted it to, I can tell you that much, Vince, but he's still able to get a frag on his way out the door, and that's not bad considering the situation. Leaf gets caught, though. Huge shot from Roka. That's going to alleviate a lot of pressure on EG to claim a control. <gasps> the timing on that is unbelievable. And he had just seen this gun barrel right before he... From EG, Vince, they're playing that more periphery-heavy, divey style compared to Cloud9. Yeah, sure, which we were probably expecting a little bit more from Cloud9. Didn't really come to the forefront, and this is the power of doing just that. However, Zephyr with a very important kill. Showstoppers now mm. doesn't get a chance to pull the trigger. That, that is huge. just does nothing. That is massive for EG that they canceled that out. That 30 some seconds left. Three on three now. Post plants. But Leaf is up close, already making moves, inroads, back towards the side, has some help in with his teammates additionally. Big pick on the ball, and now looking to try and turn his attention elsewhere. But Roka comes out with two gargantuan kills, and with only 31 HP for Leaf. They're relying on that wall in Vanity's position in B-Heaven to allow them a more comfortable triple stack with the A defense, but with that pick... Over towards B side, it forces him to have to come off of that A stack, and now A is a bit more vulnerable, but Zeppa's trying to hold on. You will only good for one, and it's res. Yeah, only good for one, and it's also being nullified from the resurrection. Zeta posted at the back of the site, though, on 14 HP, valiantly tries to hold the line by himself. A map point. Indeed, they will be the first to have a chance to close out map one again. No safety that's left in the simulation bracket. Winter plays energy. Yeah, I was shocked not to see the Haven pick, to be honest with you. That's now some time ago. They can this forward, and EG are focused on this B side. They get the opening picks. Cosmic to five now. He must go for the big play, and he can't do it. Bustio, another one, and that's going to be probably it, Vince. A five on two plus plan ahead of us here. Yeah, all the ults now being tossed in. There's a Cosmic Divide. We heard a Neural Theft just before as well, and Zep is trying to get up close. To make the most of it, but now there's a slow warp, although it lands interesting in location. Mid -air. <laughs> just, in, just in case someone wants to chill at the top of the door, I guess. But now Brandon <laughs> deals with Zephyr anyway, leaving it all upon Mitch's shoulders. Star being put down as well, just behind. Oh, the rush in, but Zeppa executing Bustio. He was not anticipating that position. The paranoia is on point, but so is Leaf's aim with the frenzy. And in the meanwhile, it's all fallen down. To a weakened broker who still put his sheriff in for two. What? There are some Asher stars though ahead of them that could slow this attack down, but they're able to dash past them, get onto the switch. They do not get the entry. Need to start finding some, and Roka may be the man for the job. Low HP, but when playing Rainer, anything's possible unless you lose your head. 
As Foe finds out first time, 29 HP becomes zero in the grand finals. I think that is a best of five as well, if I'm not mistaken, so... Yes, it is. It's gonna be awesome. Yes. Whichever of these teams makes it, of course. There is the Aldro. Ooh, fortunately, had the Tailwind to get the hell out of dodge. In the meantime, though, that gives Cloud9 control. Gives him some intel, gives him a pick as well. Roka has been allowed to slide through their fingers, though. He's into defensive spawn. He gets a frag. He's able to pick up a weapon, I think. No, maybe not. Maybe Infinity only had a share of himself. No, he did pick up a Spectre. I take that back. Choosing to elect the slot. Why the heck not? He's doing stuff like that. He might as well. And he gets out of there. And now they have a control for a plant. They actually now have main advantage for a post plant. Two main advantage at that. I'm not even saying this flippantly or trolling, but like maybe Roka should just stick with the Sheriff. Like actually. He is utterly ridiculous with this gun. And suddenly, indeed, as you highlight, a 4v2 comes into play. Just give him the Guardian, man. There you go. That, that's, the, that's the play. Vandal does have one tap potential as well, so I mean, you know. Paranoia. Yeah, Zappa couldn't see a single thing. He's pulled out the Spectre, showing that he's not just a one-trick pony. He can do it all, and Roka picks up the 4K. A play that you definitely don't... Uh, someone responsible on watching that, which frees up them elsewhere as EG starts sweeping through short side of A. It's only Vanity now left on site, holding his ground as best he can. He's good for two, not a bad play for Vanity, and he's not done the hat trick to boot, but EG respond and Khan evening it back up. But even with those three kills, yeah, it's a 2v2. This round isn't done just yet. There's still more work to be done. And even though Vanity just pulled out the play of probably the map so far, it may not be good enough. Because Leaf in a one-on-two, they know exactly where he is. There's multiple pitfalls and hurdles for him to stumble over to get close enough to the site. Turret needs to be destroyed. Temperature goes out for the peak and gets punished. Now Leaf can slow things down a little bit. I'll burst towards the entrance, but Foe is... That lockdown location, and he's stopping them from getting it. That's brilliant move from Theta. Now all the ults are being tossed in as well. Hunter's Fury behind it. No Spike defenders down, hey. detained. But as you said, it was more of a fact-finding mission, more of a real estate grab. And now they need to be careful because Zeta... And this is where, you know, champs like Jet are at their utmost powerful. They actually trigger that star for yep. a cloud burst. So they trade evenly in that respect, but they're still gonna push behind it, I think. Yeah, they're gonna cloud burst off the back halls here, paranoying through the stairwell, really putting Zeppa in a bad spot. Mitch forced to use the lockdown to try to reinforce the defenses on the site. Zeppa able to assist in kind there with a couple of big frags. Did Brandon use from the shadows to the back of the site? I didn't quite catch what happened there, but he was suddenly behind them. Probably so, so maybe in amongst all of the, the craziness and madness, but there's a shock dot with Brandon's name written all over it. And although he was weakened, now he's been finalized. Spike gets planted, but here comes Leaf, and he will clean up what remains of EG. Lucio's been awfully quiet. Well, and Peek is mad. He's been put down early. That cloud burst, though, doesn't fully extend. There's a gap yeah. in there, and they make the most of it. They exploit that weakness. Hit the nail on the head there, Vince. I mean, that is one of those things where there's no such thing as really a cloud burst lineup. A lot of the time it's just reactionary. It just happened to go awry, but Zeppa at least able to respond nicely here off the catwalk. And they do have another player kind of trapped in temperature here, stuck, but he's going out swinging, takes one with him. Zeppa, though, can get a res, and that will give them an advantage back as they go for this A retake. Yeah, it's a spike now gets planted down. There's enough time that kind of laps where they can reposition into better positions here. Foe is going to be taking the mantle of watching Garden. Waits for a sound cue, anything to work off. Now Vanity is stuck in the heavens, but he won't get punished for it. Moving through into the dark cover and Foe removes both of their heads. And now quickly things spin in EG's favor. Shock darts into peaks. Mitch comes down and he will die the second his heat feet. Tom Op trying to go A main. Turret though could spot him and temperature's right there waiting. But he gets his shot and gets away. Oh, Vanity is really stepping up to the plate. 
Had a rough first match, but my goodness, is he performing now? Branted, though, comes back with two of his own. He's keeping EG in this round, making a third. Oh, my. Exquisite Vandal aim, eroding and expunging the defense. But they still need to contend with two more players. And they still need to get the spike in the site. And they click it flight. Zeppa on the move here. And they're, they're waiting for a heaven cross with an operator. The, the spike carrier is the one doing it. He needs to get into the site. And now he's in trouble. The flight coming in. And it comes just in time. Zeppa taking the spike down. He's, by the way, he's already picked up three in this round. He knows where one of these players is, but not the other one. That's down helping and things along as well. This is an early Cosmic Divide event, I must say. You usually want to use that for the retake. That's already off the table for Cloud9 Blue now. May not matter. Oh, definitely won't a matter. Battle of the Knives. And neither actually wins. But on the retreat, it's EG that are getting batted. And um, temperature, try as he may, there was way too much up against him. Yes, they get the spike planted, but there's no secondary player that can yeah. really move in and make the most of that right now. Yeah, it's more of a feint, kind of maybe, make think they're going to be in reality. They're looking to attack into tree, grab well, though. Be a part of that, Lee able to catch Brant, that's huge. Now Roka up against the world here. It was a very good Lee up, but unfortunately he was kind of stuck in shadow. He needed his teammates to help him out. Expertly placed Nebula on the heavens, stopped Temperature from helping him out. And now Mitch with a free B frag turns it briskly into a four on one. Temperature follows suit. And although Bustio may get the element of surprise on the first shot, there's not much he can feasibly do after that point. And he's taken so much damage just to get one frag. It was never really going to work out for him. Cloud Knight is still in play right now is the opportunity for a fast peek has been denied courtesy of that slow but it didn't quite fully extend and roka makes sure he doesn't overstay his welcome dismisses out stands his ground and delivers three my goodness what a round from roka and just what eg were looking for yeah you cannot afford to let cloud nine blue steal a bonus away on top of already being up 10-4 that would have been a bridge too far because then you would have been forced behind the rest of the game with cloud nine blue on 11 near map point, so a must-win round, essentially, for EG to keep this map in play, and they've done just that. Off the back of Roka and company coming up huge to defend that choke point. Now it's all on Zeta, a Guardian, a Spike, and a Dream. That's becoming Lee. He will be replenishing the Cloud Burst he tossed in earlier. The Lee has been tossed out as well, though, and here comes Bustio. Already one headshot connects. Forces out the resurrection. All ten players remain, but not for much longer. Now the doctor becomes the patient. Zeppa's been splattered as well. EG maintain their player advantage a few more moments. Yeah, they do, and there's really no map control being taken by Cloud9 Blue in response just yet. Mitch though does get that push into B. Now he has B site totally under his control. He's gonna cause the defense to scramble a little bit, but we still still has control of middle, so they still have a pretty decent read. That the spike has not been able to make it in yet, but Mitch continues to deliver frags on this B site. And the more he does this, the more they can either rotate the spike over and take it for themselves, or double back over to A. The problem? Bustio. He is still perhaps the wrench in the plans. I don't know that he has been spotted in some time, and he does stand still on the link and take the spike down. Oh, and he had a cloud burst as well, just to make this really awkward. Forces at his hands because of the time, because there's only 10 seconds, he had to go for it. What a round from Bustio, so vitally important. Yes. And that should be it done. It'll be sealed up. Goes oh out for the peak. Yeah, three players watching him, and there was no secondary unit that exactly. could really follow him up and help that him out. That seemed a little too risky, in my opinion. I think he needed some support. He needed to make sure he was in a way he could dash out sooner. But Roka able to defend anyway. Lee finally clears him out. It was labor, but it got done. Mitch following up as well, and this might be it for C9. Yeah, that tactic is uh, well and truly backfired at this point. I'm not sure we'll see that one again anytime soon. Zeta's going in for the plant. Will be successful. The Odin trying to neutralize any pesky attackers that may have found themselves in the shadows. Granted, oh, wants to go back in, but Leaf actually wall binds him into obscurity. Oh. <laughs> Just sprays down. What? Breaks bullets. Okay, there's two kills have come in now. Right. This is getting a bit too costly. Two HP him, remains. Or that. But rest in peace. Yeah, I mean, something was going to kill him there. He got it. Soft and soggy. No one likes that. And no one likes to be peeked through a smoke. Or leaf. As Leaf has his head removed. Only 
I'll drone is out. Here comes lockdown as well. Zeppers watching for the rotational plays. Gets traded one for one by Roker's Rainer. Second lockdown. Also in his temperature. Threads the headshot and then doubles up. The lockdown's now flourishing fully. But it will see Vanity against two players. Gets the drop on the first. That's where the second's coming from. Through the dark cover and he so nearly stopped the lap. Now as well. Fact finding mission, but it's Roker that Fact checks this push. Cloud9 Blue gonna have to run into the Odin through the dark covers and nebulas. And they've successfully at least got one kill back, but it's at the cost of three of their brethren. And it seems more and more unlikely as each second passes they're gonna get this clutch off. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Zeta's dealt the fatal blow. And coming through so nearly hits him, but not quite. Now they do get to play a post plant, but still get a man behind. As you said, Zeta softened up remaining. Yeah, softened up and now finished off, finalized. Vanity is against everybody. That headshot is sublime. Instantly through the cranium of foe. Throwing down some utility themselves. I bypassed a lot of these defenders though, and Leaf gets the drop on Roka. He had no idea, no anticipation at all. With the cosmic divide in their eyes, they can't feasibly stop this plant. So Zeta goes for the full on post plan. And EG. Well, they're gonna have to battle tooth and nail to get themselves back into this one. Foe up close, oh, no. gets caught, okay. still takes down Mitch though. What a read. What a brilliant read. Shock Dart giving the positions away. Spike dwindling. The fuse running lower and lower with each second. They know it, but that spray from Foe that he's been flirting with for quite a few rounds is now stuck. Now got them a kill. Leaf though with a blade storm who kicked the round off is coming full circle with a 3k. But two play two. And the positions are looking good. But temperature finishes off the frag on Zeppa. Needs this frag right now. Switches weapons to replenish the magazine. Sticks it. Thought the last player of Vanity was on main. And he had the time anyway. No, definitely didn't. And Cloud9 making the most of that. What a brilliant round. Great use of Cosmic Divide. Obviously big plays from Leaf with the blade storm. They can eat it. Oh, that's a big oh. catch. That is devastating. He tried to relocate and in doing so, he gave himself a cross. Nano Swarm, Nebula, forces Roker away. He can't even particularly spray through and hope for the best. Shock darts are coming in, doing decent damage, but not really denying that much longer. As the spike has already been put down. This could be the last few threats. On a set for EG, and indeed it will! Play style. Early exchange here. And it will go the way of Cloud9. Special teams will feature, so Resistance healing is already an option. It's coursing through on the B side of the map, but I was actually taking a detour, taking the scenic route all the way around the side of the map. May get some drops. Oh, just splatters, absolutely destroys Zeppa, but then it's on the receiving end of the headshot himself, so it falls by the wayside fairly quickly, but it has forced out all these rotations off the plant, and that will afford and facilitate Branty the opportunity to get the plant in and potentially play some mind games to pick off one by one. Uh, I mean, he Unlikely, has... Unlikely, but at least they've got a chance now. He's got a snake bite for Spike once, but still a good player to deal with, I think. Yeah, Leaf. As we do see Leaf with that op early as we expected, looking for the orb, and hello, Branson. How are you doing today? Goodbye. See you next round. Yeah, that's gonna sting because this is their rifle round. This yeah. is the round that they're hoping to have the most impact. And they've instantly lost the first player. Now it's at the cost of the site though. A has been by and large gripped. Abustio ah, wasn't too confident in the ability to close off that kill. So tail wins out of there. A lot of damage inflicted towards him, but at least Roker picks up from where he left off. Spike getting planted down. Still eight players remain on the server. Make it seven. the rules because there is a snowman over on the B side of the map. We'll throw that one out there. Mitch does get one on his way out. And there EG. is this aggression. Yeah. On both fronts. Nice shot. Not only did they have that aggression that nets of the benefit, they also still have a push out middle as well. 
Uh, that's that's just a huge passage of play. Getting the opening pick it, it, again, they're gonna get control over the B side of the map, but and a post plant will come in. They have the player advantage. They have the utility that they could want in this kind of a situation. Toxic screens going up, but toxins are running low. So that is a bit of a concern for EG. Now that that screen is no longer available to hide behind, this is where Leafs Operator can start to get into position. Decides to switch to the Blade Storm instead. And the Toxin screen comes back out. Paint shells doing damage, but not enough. But now the Diffuser's coming in, and there is a Sage Wall down there trying to deny this one. But it is going to be a case of getting it down and getting that... A ride on the ropes, but it's Leaf that gives Fo a free ride into the grave. Meanwhile, Hunter's Fury is popped out, and all the kills going the way of Cloud9 Blue. Just Aldron in the Viper's Pit as well to try and find out if he can find some prey. He bypassed Vanity. In the meanwhile, just gets the first pick. Bustio's gonna push through. Does deal with Vanity on Viper. Showstopper comes out, and oh, he actually managed to just about get away with a Tailwind. Just about survives. Very low HP. Could be finished off by the paint shells. And if it's not the paint shells, it should be the bullets behind it. As Temperature is trying to scamper away to save his life. 3v2. Temperature. Double headshots. Forces out the resurrection. And only one remains now for Cloud9 Blue. Oh my goodness. How quickly the tides have turned on to this. And Mitch has been detected. Bustio, I believe, knows that Mitch is back. Or maybe not, actually. Maybe not. No, I'm wrong. He didn't see him. And so Mitch is able to get that kill. Gets it back into a 1v2. So it's going to be a tough ass, though. Especially with Viper's Pit available. They could just pit the spike. And they may not even left. choose to spend it here. Spike now they may planted. save it for next round. Just thinking they can win it without the need for it. As it is a 2v1. And they have great post plan positioning towards the fence to spawn. Mitch has to clear out so much on his way to this spike. Yeah, and every single corner that he covers is eating up valuable time for that retake. Yeah. So you feel like there's going to be one or two angles that will go unchecked, and that will probably be his undoing. Yeah. The spike's not planted in really a way where he can truly use his wall to fully defend his defuse. One enemy remaining. Spots, he knows what that player is now. Oh, oh, Hunter's Fury is the ace up the sleeve. Even if it doesn't get the kill, it's forced him off the spike long enough. Yeah. The round is the way of EG. Uh, Mike could say by Mitch at the very least, so a small parting prize. That was the concern, isn't it? When you're this far behind, you know that it has to be pretty much flawless from here on out. If you make any mistakes, any oversights, that's where Cloud Mike Blue will punish you. And speaking of which, Vanity proving it firsthand. Does go for an even trade, though, and now they can pick up the pace and just try and overrun B site. Oh, it's broken before working can fortify, so no safe passes to plant. They're going to get contested, trying to get this spike down. Mitch is also staying alive, which is great news, but temperature cutting off this mid-rotation, cutting off this flank from A-side. Now they can pull back if they want to. They can play mind games with Southern. They have a lot of time left, and now the main advantage. The dip big way. Well, though, this frag out. Mitch once again pushing up middle. We've seen him a couple times wrap around the back of the EG spawn yes. fairly quickly. It's the same exact story, man. A defense is in place. Like I said, I'm going to push. But G might just be able to brute force pass it nonetheless. Seems like they're doing just that for the time being. They have got the first pick. Zappa, spoiled for choice. He saw him almost try and flick back to that first player. Should have stuck with his gut. And now Leaf is going to try and rip out the EG as quickly as possible with this Blade Storm. Cloud bursts down, try and deny one of the areas of assault. Leaf goes in for more, and here is Mitch, resurrecting as well, just to be... Well, Busio wants to try and take a Leaf out of C9B's book, but instead, he has his head removed. And that, the book gets slammed closed on his fingers. This... I'll have to the rest of the round to try and recover, but this has just gone horribly wrong for EG. Really has, man. I have to applaud the creativeness and the change of pace. Definitely a different tactic. He can't get the plant. And this allows him to start setting up the defense for that retake. But Zeppa cutting it off at the kitchen. Healing. 30 seconds left. That's a good point. There's nothing really they can do to stop this plant bare minimum, but they can at least give themselves a player advantage. So taking down Leaf, getting up close. There's the burst fire into the head, but the rest of his teammates have fallen down. It needs to be Bustio, but he stood on the acid. Oh, jealous, mate. Oh, oh, just got absolutely manhandled. That would be illegal anywhere else other than Valorant. Meanwhile, Zeppa, though, big headshot. 
and it looks like Cloud9 Blue, they're, they're done with this best of three. They're it like, does just give us that, that grand final spot right now. Yeah. We're not sticking around any longer. They are sprinting towards that finish line, that is for sure. There is no victorious turtle in this race. Yep, sometimes the head just wins. Yeah. In fact, I, I would I would imagine most times it does. Like if you Sure. I mean I would even argue that Cloud9 be uneven uh the hair. Okay. They're like a cheater at this point, right? Actual predator, fast as hell. Cheetahs are pretty fast. Once of course. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> like anyone thought otherwise. Just making Jesus sure that Christ. no one's dark minds went there. Oh, I'm fired right. now. Stop up. It's coming in. Oh, one of these. Spun between two players. Ever at least, though, does counteract. 4v4. Bit of damage down the middle, but the cloud bursts in their eyes. Now Zeta is going to take the initiative. Already pushing round the back, though, a C9B. Yes. They're getting all the way round the back, and they could very well cut off these rotations. Yeah, they could. Leaf is such a dangerous position here and spawn. Busio trying to fight back here through orange position. So they're trying to claw their way back in, but still a man behind, and ooh, that was a near one. Tapping on the spike, hoping for the best, but that's all 